Good morning, Neapolitan fans. Neapolitan gal here. Well, it's 9.18 on Saturday morning, and you've never seen my hair this wavy before, have you? No. So, here's what's up, is I have washed my hair last night kind of late, fell asleep on the couch, and then just put my hair up in a, I have a uh, shirt that I wear over my head to kind of keep the dampness off me when I'm laying down, and I just went to bed. I said, meh, I'll deal with it in the morning. So this morning, I'm like, Eh, if I'm going to deal with it this morning, I'm going to do a video. So guys, if you're not one of those men who watches his woman get ready, or if you're the boyfriend who's never seen your girlfriend get ready and doesn't know what they go through sometimes, here's your chance to see exactly what we as women go through when, um, when we are getting ready especially when we're actually getting ready to go someplace versus just kicking around the house. So we're gonna, I know I'm brushing from the top, I should have brushing from down here, that's okay. Um, my hair is still a little bit damp, and so since it's still a little damp, and since I slept with it damp last night and didn't bother um, doing anything to it, I am going to put a little bit of um, leave-in hair conditioner leave in conditioner um, in it, which is basically this detangler here. Um, I get this from um, Great Clips. Uh, when I got this bottle, it was like, I think it was like 10 bucks for the bottle. Um, and basically what I do is my hair is still damp. I just dampen my hairbrush. And over the sink, I'll spray this stuff right onto the bristles and then uh, brush it in. And then my uh, straight iron, won't damage my hair nearly as much as it would have otherwise. So add a little bit of damp sheen to it, a little bit more. Um, normally I try to go with straight hair. Uh, my hair is being as wavy as it is. It just it doesn't look that great really honestly. Um, I do get, typically if I um, wash my hair and blow dry it right away, the hair dryer will actually straighten it for me. So normally if I'm gonna use my flat iron, like I'm gonna use here in just a second, it's just because I've already got dry hair and I just need to flatten it. Hair dryer's not gonna do anything for it. So, um, guys, this is what we go through if you've never watched one of us get ready. So, hair like mine, it takes a little while, but um, we're going to do this. And don't worry, I'm going to cut the video right about here anyway for my little insert for my share, s subscribe, comment, and all that. And um, so I'll speed this portion up. Hey, Neapolitan fans, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so I straightened it enough. Um, my flat iron's still plugged in, so if I find something too wavy, maybe like this little section right here, I can go ahead and flatten it out real quick. Um, but then I'm going to just do a simple styling technique, honestly. Um, I do have a two hour drive to Miami from here to pick up four people who live in a very wealthy neighborhood. So normally if it was just somebody family-wise I was picking up from the airport, I wouldn't even bother with any of this, but um, I've got to look professional for this pickup. So. Um, Unfortunately, with my hair still a tiny bit damp, there is just no getting around some of these um, waves. Um, oh, in case you're wondering, this is a Revlon um, flat iron. Um, guys, if you have longer hair, you can do something like this too if you want to straighten it out some. Um, a good flat iron is worth its weight in gold. Um, this is what I think it, you know, would be, I would classify it as a good flat iron. Um, again, your hair dryer, if you use your hair dryer along with your um, brush, 
at the same time. It'll basically do the same thing for you when you have wet hair. I have slightly damp hair, so mine just would not work. Um, going to unplug that because I think I'm pretty much done with that. So I, I'm 41 years old. I was a basically a baby in the 70s, a child in the 80s, and grew up in the 90s. So I still like to do my bangs slightly like the 90s people did. Um, so I usually just, I don't really part, I just grab a little bit from the side of my bangs here and then I'll pull them forward some. When I had my hair cut in March, um, I go through these bangs um, phases. I think a lot of us really do go through the bangs phases. As we get older, we decide different hairstyles and things we want to try. I might need one of the bobby panels to pull them back out. So, and no, I'm not wearing this to open these people up. I will change here very shortly. Um, but my hairstyle should be just fine when I get changed. So. We're not going to sweat it, sweat it much. So, you know, when I go pick these people up from the airport, I want to look a little professional. Um, but I also didn't want to throw a ponytail in. Yes, a nice sleek ponytail can look very professional, but um, I'm going to be riding two hours in a car over. The last thing I want is a scrunchie right there at the back of my head. So... Now what I'll do on the other side is just pick up the hair a little bit. Yeah, now when I leave out of here, because it is like 80 degrees outside, I probably will have a hair tie in somewhere across Alligator Alley. I'll pull the hair tie out. Um, actually, I think I might actually check Waze and see if US 41 might be the better way to go since it's Miami versus Fort Lauderdale. I'll find out. Um, it's supposed to rain today. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this, our cool front will have moved through down here and our rain should be over, but, because I'm not going to be up uploading this until later this evening or sometime Sunday, um, but you get to watch a woman, you know, get ready and see exactly what we go through, you know, to beautify ourselves. Now, someone like me who was pretty homely to begin with, there's not much beautifying, but hey. I could try. All right, so I am going to um, put some makeup on. Um, again, I normally would not wear makeup this time of day. Again, it's only 9.30 in the morning, but I also want to be professional looking when I pick these folks up. I'm taking them to a multi-million dollar home, and you know, I don't want to look like um, very homely person picking them up. So, all right, be right back. All right, as you see, your perspective from me has changed. Um, almost got the info of mirror going back here, right? So, I am going to time lapse me putting makeup on. Um, I like to time lapse better than going through the whole spiel. Um, now, if y'all watched my wish haul video, I do have the tape pieces, but for this, I don't think I'm going to do the tape pieces now. What I will do is I'm going to set my bangs with some hairspray. Now I will tweak my hair a little bit after I get my, my, my blouse on that I'm actually wearing over to Miami. But at the moment I just wanted to go ahead and get a, the initial portion of it set so when I take off the pins, everything kind of stays. So, be right back.
lose my voice all of a sudden. So this is almost my final look. I realized after I put my lipstick on in the time lapse that I had neglected my teeth. So I had to go brush my teeth. Um, yeah, I'll put some lipstick on. And this is more just a lip gloss. Um, so. I wanted something that would, <clears throat> excuse my allergies, the last couple of days were horrible. Uh, I wanted something that would match the eye makeup but not be real heavy and this stuff will probably wear down by the time I get down to Miami anyway. Um, probably gonna have another brush back there. But yeah, so this is basically guys who don't live with anyone. Um, this, oops, this is basically what we go through when we get ready to go out if we're going out someplace that route that warrants makeup and <clears throat> our hair to be somewhat done um and as you can see i'm just wearing a classic three-quarter sleeve it's warm outside um i'm picking up passengers from an airplane don't know their um preference for cool or warm so rather than riding down there in my own comfort and then riding back in their comfort. I uh, go with a three-quarter sleeve because our car is so packed with four people, uh, plus myself, and their baggage. I'm actually taking a small little purse. Just It's going to be small enough. I actually I have two purses that are really small, and I hang them on my door handle in my car so that when I'm driving Uber and Lyft or when i got passengers, um, my purse is out of the way. So... Like I picked up people from the airport um, New Year's Day and they remember riding with me before and I forgot to move my purse when they got in. So the first thing she says, is your, is your stuff on the front seat? I'm like, oh no. It's, it's in the console. It was, you know, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna put it over here but I just had to get it out of my way when I got out of the car because I didn't want to get out of the car and have my purse hanging there and have to fall around, we forget it's there, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Um, so basically what I would do with this hairstyle, um, my one bobby pin just fell out, is <clears throat> clear my throat first. <laughs> allergies are horrible. I might actually have to take my allergy pill before I leave. And that's, it's been less than 24 hours since I took it. So, um, we have a cool front coming down. I think I mentioned that earlier. And with that cool front, the last two days, the leading edge of it has brought some serious winds to our area. Um, now, if you don't know anything about South Florida, anything at all, the one thing you should know about South Florida is that it's summer and spring all year long down here. Plants, flowers, everything blooms round, year round down here. Um, there is no season change. I mean, Later in the winter, we'll get a little cooler during the day, but for the most part, we sit in the 70s and 80s this time of year, and the rest of the year, we're 80s and 90s. So, you know, we don't really have the big change of seasons. This is like California here. Um, and certain spots of, you know, just like certain spots of California, certain spots of Florida does get cold or cooler. I forgot my brows. Um, the area of Florida I'm from, we do get a little cooler up there um, and when it gets cooler up there we do have a chance for frost we do have a chance for frost down here too but usually not on the coast unless something really crazy has happened otherwise um, inland like where my mom and brother live um, here in Naples they do get frost out there from time to time but it's no really no big deal typically it's more the stuff you see on the ground and um, probably up on the roof of the house but um it's not really enough to cause much damage past killing some grass unfortunately it kills grass during our dry season and then we do have to worry about fires when we start getting dry dried out um vegetation like that um but luckily when we get these cool fronts that come down whenever they actually make it this far and that is a thing. Sometimes they just kind of fizzle out around Central Florida or just very north of, you know, barely north of here. Sometimes they fizzle out at the Panhandle. 
Um, so a lot of times when it does that, we may only, may not wind up with any of the rain, but a lot of the wind from it. And then like two weeks ago, just before Christmas, um, that Sunday, my mom and I were driving home back from Orlando in torrential downpours. So it just really all depends on, on the weather, honestly, of how everything lines up. So, all right, so brows are done, eyes are done, makeup is done. I am dressed and ready to go. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day. You're gonna see this on Sunday, most likely. So have a happy Sunday. I am off to Miami.